CJ, this was, you know, the best rushing game of the season for the team as a whole. So what were you guys maybe doing differently tonight? Or better question, maybe what felt different tonight? Uh, we just did a great job of like consistently picking up blocks. Uh, we opened up like our playbook more. Uh, we did like different types of runs. You see more stuff to the outside, counter stuff like that. Uh, and yeah, we just put us in the best position to make the, to go out there and make the plays. Is that just like is that also a result of just the comfort level with this offense at this point in the season too? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll say so. And also, it's just you know, uh, just weeks of experience. And you know, just learning every week. Just uh, we just learn to put it together this week and just uh, stay consistent in the run game. TJ, is there anything in particular you saw from the Iowa defense? I don't know if you know, but the last three weeks you had more rushing yards tonight combined than the last three weeks. Is there anything in particular you saw from the defense that allowed you to kind of exploit the run game like that? Um, just going into this game, I knew I had to have a game like this, and uh, yeah, we've seen a lot of stuff with that defense which caused us to run the ball more and expand uh, the plays as far as the run game. So yeah, we just seen like the opportunity that we had to uh, run the ball against them. Um, yeah, obviously you, know, you guys were down 10 nothing at one point. How big of it was you know, Mateen to hit that 57 yard field goal, especially when you look at the final score, it's a three point game. Uh, to do it under those circumstances and you know, kind of keep uh, Iowa from you know running away with things. Was that for me or for TJ? Either one. Uh, you know, it's <laughs> funny enough, um, coming back in the town after the game, I saw him and I was like, bro, we won by three. That was because we fixed seven field goal. So that was huge. A uh, great momentum swing. Uh, obviously, we went on the at least 17 on run after that. So that was huge. Guys, I want to get uh, both of your reaction. Um, you know, I don't know if you pay attention, but uh, you know, betting lines didn't have you guys favored. Uh, predictions don't have you favored. And then here you come, beating Iowa, uh, big time powerhouse, uh, Big Ten team. What does that feel like? Uh, it feels great, man. Uh, going into this game, we knew they were pretty good in the Big Ten. Uh, they won a good amount of games and stuff like that. And you know, we just got to stick to our standard. Uh, just like Coach Fall said, discipline, uh, respect, <clears throat> enthusiasm. If you got to stick to that, we'll be okay every week. So, ben? Sorry. Yeah, I mean, I don't think that competition and one of the big ones and things like that. But uh, we knew it was going to be a short week. Uh, we had to play fast and physical, play aggressive. I mean, like you said, they're a powerhouse. Coach has been there for a long time. Uh, but it wasn't really about them. It was more about us as a team and playing together. And like TJ said, discipline, respect, and enthusiasm. Question for uh, TJ and Femi. Uh, for you both. Uh, Coach Foss talks about you guys being resilient, getting better week after week, even through the gauntlet and the losses. What's your mindset now? How does it feel knowing that you guys are two games away from being bowl eligible? Um, it's great, uh, especially like the fact that we know what it takes to win. You know, we've got to put it together every week. You know, there's obviously some stuff we can still build on, but we're heading in the right direction. Absolutely. I think um, <clears throat> two games away, but it's still week by week, day by day. Uh, just focusing on what's ahead of us. Yeah, this is a question for both of you. What's it like to have West Coast football go up to a Big Ten school and give them the noise with all the rushing yards you guys had this week? Uh, man, honestly, it's great. Uh, yeah, just being in the Big Ten is crazy. Like, growing up, uh, I've always known UCLA is like, you know, to be in the Pac 12 and stuff like that. And now that I've grown up and I'm here to experience myself, us moving over to the Big Ten and, you know, winning games, it's, it's a great experience. Absolutely. Uh, like you said, great experience. Um, feels good. Feels amazing. Feels great. Um, football is football. Line up 11 to play. Thank you, guys. Sure. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.